Hey, it's Danny from Conscious Calisthenics here. So yeah, I wanted to talk about what happened recently and that is that I got banned from a vegan buffet in Koh Phangan, Thailand, where I live. And I'm not gonna name the place because I do not want to give them a bad reputation or hate on them at all. Because yeah, the food is absolutely amazing there. I love the location and it's quite a shame that I can't go. I'm not sad about it, but yeah. Well, I wish I could still continue to go there, but we'll see what happens because I'm actually gonna get in contact with the manager and see if we can come to some resolution around this. So yeah, I used to go to this place almost every single day because it was one of my most favorite places to go, really clean food, really high quality food, and I just loved the dishes. And then I found after going there for weeks and weeks and weeks, almost every single day, that they said I could not go there anymore. And they said it was because they were fully booked because it's a healing center and yeah they said they just had too many people so I couldn't go there and they said come back in a couple of weeks and then you can eat and I did that and they said no you can't again and they kept telling me every time that I was going back that they had the same amount of people booked every single time and I started to question and think hmm there's something not right here. I think they are lying to me rather than telling me directly that you're eating too much food and we yeah don't want you to actually come here anymore so what happened was I would contact them, this is what I tried recently, and they would say no, it's full, you cannot come in. Then one of my friends would contact them, they say yes, you can come here. Multiple different times we tried this. So then there was one day recently where my friend contacted them and said yes, you can come along and pay to come in and eat. We went there, me and my friend. I said, you go ahead and pay. I will stay in the car park because when you pay, they give you these tickets, which you have to give to the restaurant when you walk in there. And they sold it to her, both of these tickets. And then I walked from the car park in there and the man that keeps telling me I cannot come in there rushed over to me before I could even get anywhere near the restaurant and said, no, you cannot come in here at all. And I was like, my friend just paid. And he was like, what? Like, and got all funny with me and I didn't get in an argument, but I was like, I made sure that I contacted you first because it takes you quite a long time to get here. I'm very busy, I run multiple businesses and I didn't want to waste my time. And my friends now bought the tickets. He said, well, you can't come in here. And he kept going back and forth, back and forth and back and forth. I was like, okay, okay, that's fine. I'm not gonna get angry or aggressive or anything. And I was like, yeah, I'll just move on and let go of this. So yeah, when I left, I was a little bit frustrated vented a little bit to my friend and said it's out of order because I've brung so many different people there and so many times I'd actually spend more than the buffet that well the price of the buffet because I buy so many different vegan ice creams and cakes so yeah I wasn't very happy about this I'm still not but yeah there's not much that I could do about it like I say I contact the manager see if it can be resolved but it's really really funny to be honest that I got banned from a vegan buffet but yeah most people when me and my friends that eat one meal a day go to buffets, a lot of people think we're just being greedy and we're just trying to get our money's worth and having that sort of like poverty mindset and thinking, oh, I must just eat as much as possible because I've paid for this buffet and just completely overeating, but I don't overeat. I eat so many calories. So yeah, they obviously don't expect people like me to come along. And me and my friend, Daniel, went to a yoga retreat center the other week. And then we went back the next week and people that were there, which was a group of people that was there the week before, as soon as we walked in, they said, oh, quickly hide all the food because they're gonna eat it all. And I didn't pay any attention. And yeah, it's just like, I just find it funny. I said, well, I eat one meal a day. That's how it is. So yeah. Onwards and upwards, we go to other vegan buffets, see if this happens at any other places. But yeah, very interesting, unique experience that's never happened. And yeah, just really, really funny. Uh, maybe this will happen again in the future. If it does, any places, I will let you know. But places that aren't buffets, they absolutely love me because I always spend the most money out of anyone else. And a lot of people ask me, how much do I normally spend on my meals? If it's not a buffet, around 25 to 32 dollars so that is quite a bit of money but I can easily afford it and I deserve that food and I live a life of abundance and yes yeah, stay tuned because there is a company here well a restaurant 
that it's made the first vegan pizza that's actually got vegan cheese on it. There's nowhere in the whole of Copenhagen, Thailand. And they're actually sponsoring me and they're making the biggest pizza possible for me. And I'm gonna do a mukbang pizza challenge. And that video will be posted around Sunday for Americans. So yes, yeah, stay tuned for that. This is gonna be a very exciting one. Maybe I won't be able to finish it. Maybe I will, we shall see. So yeah, that's it for this video. If you have any questions in relation to me getting banned from a vegan buffet, let me know down below and I'll get back as soon as possible. If you like the video, like it down below, give us a thumbs up and please share this video with anyone that you think may be amused about me getting banned from a vegan buffet and learning about why I exactly got banned from it. And if you haven't already, click that subscribe button down below to receive a lot more videos from me on a regular basis talking about my life sharing calisthenics workout videos with you, videos showing you what I eat with my one meal a day, what I do in a day videos, and many other videos to just inspire you and motivate you to become the greatest version of yourself and push you to achieve the body desire, the fitness levels and the energy levels and sustain them long term as well. So if those type of videos sound good to you, make sure you click that subscribe button down below and you click the bell notification button next to the subscribe button, otherwise YouTube will not notify you of when new videos are uploaded. So as always, stay fit, stay energetic and go and get those gains. Peace.